Join me as I take on the challenge of creating a stunning GUI from scratch on a Waveshare RP2350 screen using LVGL. Hi, I'm John, your concierge to the world of the Raspberry Pi Pico, Pico 2, robotics, IoT, and all things remixable tech. This is my three minute summary video. If you have time, why not check out the full video? LVGL is a UI framework written for embedded systems. I hate writing UIs, but actually LVGL makes it quick and fun. It's lightweight, flexible, and efficient for running on processors like the RP2040 and RP2350. And most of the Waveshare RP2350s and RP2040 display boards have example projects which already use LVGL, which is great. But I'm not a great fan of the example project structure with the libraries for the board broken out into lots of separate libraries. The definition for these in CMake's not taking all of the includes and link path dependencies and managing that, we can do better. So I've done some improvements to try to create a standard project structure for my dashboards. My simple example on GitHub just places a battery icon on the display. Boring, but this is really about creating the boilerplate so we can copy and paste the project structure. I did just that to create a dashboard and control um, tile for Rex P1, my Star Wars inspired droid. This displays two battery statuses and what's draining the battery at any given time, plus allowing me to control what, where the drain is coming from. So I can switch basically sources from each of the two batteries or per battery onto charge. Right now it's just reading data from standard input in JSON format, but it's a proof of concepts and shows some of the power of LVGL. If this video sparks ideas or helps your projects, hit that like button, subscribe and join the community. Thank you very much for watching and see you on the next video.